This is one of the expected gate question and surely 99% gate aspirant will fail to solve this question because they are going to fail in the trap. Let us see whether you are 1% or 99% student. The doubt was asked by Akhil Thomas in the doubt solving group and this video is in English because he purchased the courses in the English languages. Okay. The question says how many three digit numbers can be generated from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 such that the digits are in ascending order. Options are 80, 81, 83, 84. Pause the video, try by yourself, then look at my solution. Now I know a lot of students will say, sir, which formula to use? Permutation, combination, something else. Those students who just by hearted the formula won't be able to solve the question. And if you have studied from my lecture, you know very well, we never by heart the formulas. We go with the logic. The logic says out of nine digit, select three and then arrange those numbers to get three digit number. So a lot of students will do out of nine select three means combination so select three now you got three digit uh, three numbers right you want to make three digit number it's like uh, having three numbers number one number two and number three and having three places so tell me the number of way of arrangement three factorial so here permutation will come so now multiply with three factorial and this is what you are thinking your answer is isn't it so Yes, but your answer is not matching, right? Sir, I'm not getting 80, 81, 83, 84 kind of stuff. Very good. Okay, because this is wrong answer. Why this is wrong answer? If question was up till here, how many three digit number can be generated from the digits, then this is absolutely correct. Okay. But we have extension to this question such that the digits are in ascending order. So this is wrong answer now. This is not what your ascending order looks like. Okay. So what is the right answer? The right answer is you have to multiply into one. That is the right answer. Now your doubt is why this one, why not three factorial? Let me explain. See out of nine digit, you selected three. Okay. For example, let us say you selected one, two and three. And then you are going to say, I want to arrange them such that they are in ascending order. So tell me the number of ways, number of possible arrangement, only one, isn't it? So check it out. Uh, one, two, three. This is the only possible arrangement where you can say ascending small, then little bit big, then biggest, right? This is how ascending looks like. So only one way, therefore one you can do with any kind of numbers. Suppose I have seven, eight, nine. Okay. Or let me take in this way, some random seven, two, three. Okay. Now tell me. Three digit number I selected using a 9C3, number of possible arrangements such that ascending order. How many ascending order? Only one case, two, three and seven, only one. You cannot say seven, three, two, this is wrong. You cannot say two, uh, two, seven, three, this is also wrong because two, then yes, seven, but then how it uh, decreased to three. So that is not allowed. Ascending means keep on growing. That's how your ascending looks like. Therefore, I hope you understood when ascending comes into the picture, then the number of ways of arrangement is only one. If ascending is removed from the picture, then the answer is 9C3 into 3 factorial. Okay. So finally, what is the answer for this question? As per the trick to solve this, we are not going to use the formula. A lot of students will say 9 factorial by 3 factorial into 9 minus 3 factorial. No, we are going to say 9 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator, 3, 2, 1. This 3 indicates only 3 numbers in the numerator. So 9, 8, 7 and that's all. Three ones are, three threes are, two ones are, two fours are. The final answer is 84, which is option D. Understood how to solve this question. So it was a permutation question only and permutation using combination technique is what uh, we have studied already in the classes. So you, uh, this topic sometimes in the books is also known as mixed permutation and combination. Okay, that's okay. But we know that permutation can be done using uh, this uh, combination technique as well. That's it. If you do not know the PNC lectures uh, for that, uh, you can download Shrenik Jain Study Simplified app uh, and uh, visit the courses. Uh, the courses has uh, this facilities. All the concepts are already recorded. So you have recorded lectures where you can watch as per your speed, as per your timing. There won't be time constraint or speed constraint. OK, you can watch unlimited time. You can download and watch. You also get the class notes uh, PDF and in the folder as well. You should not make any notes. Make short notes by yourself just for the revision. Full notes are there in the app. App. doubt solving group is there like Akhil Thomas asked you can also ask test series is also there so that you get the confidence these are the courses all-in-one subscriptions uh, and uh, 
individual courses so what is all in one subscription four courses in one match all the concepts match all the previous year question all branches all years with tricks and techniques uh, aptitude all concepts aptitude all pyqs all branches all years with tricks and techniques if you need just the individual individuals are there just the concept of maths just the concepts of apt just the pyqs of all the maths all the pyqs of apt those are available also english hindi available if you need only english then this is the course if you need hindi to main baat hi hindi mein karunga slides to english mein hi rahegi kyunki bahut sare students ko hindi comfortable lagti hai to hindi mein bhi aap pad sakte ho so in this way you can uh, have a selection option as per your convenience to study thank for watching this video